Thank you, John Matthew. Um, really inspired to, to see so many people here today already for an event that's going to last right up until nine o'clock tonight. I think we live in an era at the moment where we really need some hope, we need some inspiration because we're seeing the realities of the climate crisis hit right in front of our eyes, whether it's record temperatures, floods and droughts, mass species extinction. This crisis, this emergency is happening right now, right in front of us. And despite all of that, despite all of it, every month we have the fossil fuel industry celebrating the fact that they found more oil and gas reserves, more for them to burn. We have far too many politicians, including far too many here in Scotland, who think that North Sea oil and gas can keep going until after 2050. But we don't have time for that. We don't have until 2050. We're in the end game of this now. The next decade, the actions, the choices that we make as a species over the, these next 10 years will define the next thousand years of life on this planet. And you know, I have been inspired. I have found hope over the last few months. I've been inspired. I've found hope in seeing the youth climate strikes, over a million young people across the world, thousands of young people here in Scotland, rebel, take to the streets, walk out of school over the generational betrayal that they're witnessing. I found hope in Extinction Rebellion, who physically forced the emergency onto the political agenda in a place that it wasn't before. And I found hope in the dozens of different organisations that are all here today who in different ways every single day in our communities are making a difference. Today is an opportunity for us to come together to learn and to share the ways that we can in our own lives take part in the transformation that we need to see in this world. But it's also an opportunity for us to recognise that these individual actions, lifestyle changes, well, they're laudable, they're not enough. And if we act as if they are the only solution, they are in fact profoundly unjust. Today is an opportunity for us to think big, to talk about the massive transformation that we need to see in our economy and our society. It's an opportunity to talk about the universally free, accessible public transport that we need, to end the literally poisonous obsession that we've got with private cars. It's an opportunity to talk about the kind of radical and just land reform that Scotland needs for the massive reforestation that we're capable of and to end the scandal, the fact that one in five square miles of this country is a shooting estate when that land could instead be used to rehabilitate our planet. Today is an opportunity for us to take hope and inspiration from these massive ideas, from the opportunity to create hundreds of thousands of jobs in the kind of industries that will save this world rather than destroy it. I think the wind's catching the microphone. If I stand like that, it's a wee bit better. You can just look side on at you and wave now. Um, but this is an opportunity for us to think big because I think that we have a moral obligation to think big. We have a moral obligation to the people in the global south who are already suffering and dying because of a crisis that they didn't cause. This today is an opportunity for me to leave hopeful and inspired with new ideas for the different ways that we can contribute towards that transformation, to recognise that it's not a choice between the status quo and climate crisis. It's a choice between a better world, a more just world, a fairer world, and that crisis. And I know what choice everyone here would make. I know I'm going to be inspired today. I'm sure that you are as well. Please enjoy this day. Engage with folk that you've never met before. Share your own ideas. Learn from their ideas. This is an opportunity for us to come together because, like I said at the start, this is the end game and we have an obligation to do something about it. Thank you all very much and please enjoy your day.